Good morning. Um, so we're going to try to get some seed in the ground today. It is Saturday. What's the date today? The 25th of April. 25th of April. 2020. I've planted plenty in April before, but it's always good to get the seeding done in April. So um, we're going to got to move a little bit of equipment here, get to the to the grain drill, and uh, then we'll get it filled up and and uh, we'll start planting some grass seed notes. Um, we do have one point here. I'll stop today's video and jump back into yesterday's video because I had Trudy come over yesterday, our daughter, and she did a little harrowing for me. Um, so I'm going to show you that little clip from yesterday and then go back to seeding. So, okay, we're going to do some moving around and we'll get set up. Okay, so we're opened up here. Grain drill's already come out. This is a, I forget what kind it is, international, I think. Yeah, an international grain drill. Um, we'll get outside, you can see it better. But uh, this is one I bought from my neighbor a few years ago. I used to have an old John Deere, and I really like that one. I actually like it better than this one, but um, this one works pretty good too. So anyways, we moved. We had to get that old cultivator, get that out of there which I, I hate and I'm looking for another one if anyone has a cultivator for sale, preferably an old McCormick Deeran, I'm looking to buy one. But then I also have my, my tether. I have a ground driven Grim tether that I use some, but I bought this a few years ago. It's a power takeoff, um, just a two basket one, but it works really good. And most of the time when I'm working alone, I will actually use the tractor on that just because I have too much ground to cover and I need to um, cover a lot of ground and if I'm alone the horses get plenty of work doing other stuff um, but if I have any help and, and sometimes I will do it myself I have this cart that we made up with a power takeoff on and I'll show you that this summer I'm sure I'll hitch it up some and I can show you that this summer I've got an old Oliver 66 tractor over there it's been there for quite a few years now never brought it out it does run and all flat tires but I just don't use tractors much so there she sits and then there's my baler which I use with the, with the tractor. I don't pull that with the horses. Um, and then uh, my two mow machines over here, I got two number nine mow machines, which mow all my hay. And then I have a, a picker, which I've always used for the tractor. I'm tempted to try this little cart with a motor on it to see if it would work, but it's only a 13 horsepower motor, so I don't know if it would work. But one of these days I'm gonna try it and see if it would. So anyways, we will get hitched on and get this out of here and get it loaded up. The boys have been waiting patiently, watching us, probably laughing at us do, do, trying to move this equipment. Ken 
Ben's always a little bit spooky and that seemed to scare him a little bit. Hit, hooking on to something he hasn't hooked on for in a while. Or sh I should say hooked on to in a while. There goes a mouse. <laughs> Where'd you go, little bugger? There he is. You better watch out. You lock, lock. There's probably babies in there somewhere. Oh. 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 Back up here. Back. 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 Kenny jumping a little bit. Kind of nerve wracking, huh, Ken? You'll get used to it. Okay, you wanna go over and get a bag of the grass seeds on the truck? Sure. Now you're showing off, grabbing it with one hand. So the grass seed attachment on this grain drill, this grain drill is actually a tractor grain drill. Um, I don't know how old it is, but the grass seed is on the back. This is the grass seed right here. Last year, um, I went through and took the shot back and sucked it all clean, which worked really good. We've had other years of not getting it clean enough and the mice get in there so bad. Well, but did you hear me say there was a mouse that ran out of here? Yeah, I don't know but, where it was, but. So hopefully we're all clean and good. It's empty, so it should be. And the shot back works really good. But anyways, this is on the back of the grain drill. On my old John Deere, the grass attachment was on the front of the grain drill. I personally have I think I've had better um, seedings with the old John Deere than this one. And I'm thinking maybe that's part of it. But if you think new technology, it should be better this way. Well, the other one was way cuter. I love that. I still want to make it into a planter. So this is where the oats go in. This is the oat hopper. Okay, now let's go back to yesterday. Well, good afternoon. I'm fortunate to have Trudy, our daughter, going to volunteer to do some harrowing today. Um, so that is wonderful. Um, how was school day, Trudy? It was good. I had a meeting. You had a meeting? Trudy is a third grade teacher 
at the local one of the local schools and with everything going on of course she has to do it at home and through the computer however she does it so that's what she's been doing so anyways i'm glad to have her help today while she's doing this i'm going to be picking a few more stones and uh um getting this field measured out a little bit i've got uh um just a little bit more than half is going to be needed seating and the further edge will be cornfield so I just hope this wind isn't so bad you can't hear me but we'll see how it goes I want to explain my Harrow's here today this is a Pioneer I bought it new actually two years ago and it does a great job um, these little fingers on the back really work good to level things out um, they uh, have a lot of adjustments and I'm not going that deep to. I just got to smooth things out and we'll be good to plant. So, okay, Trudy, go ahead. Trudy's done quite a bit of harrowing for me, but it's actually usually just with two horses. Matter of fact, this might be the first time she's ever done three, uh, at least for some time. But she'll do fine. Trudy, when you come back through, just come on the inside here. Inside. So you get inside, outside, inside, outside. That way, you just keep going until this end is this section's done and then you jump into a new section. Now the stones are all picked, the fields all harrowed, and we can start planting.
I have to be careful on these tight corners not to jackknife this rig. If I turn too tight, the tire will hit the planter and it'll flip the cart right over. Okay, one more pass and I'll be done. Um, I, you may or may not be able to see it, but I had paced this field out and so I thought it'd be a perfect rectangular shape. Apparently I either walked it wrong or my horses walked too crooked because I definitely have a pie piece in the middle of this field, but that's okay. Um, it'll be fine. So this is oats and grass seed and the oats will not be combined. I don't have a combine. Um, I have before, but I don't now, so I just cut it off for hay. So I will make my one more pass up and back, and I will be done. So I, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, any comments, put it down below. And if you have any things that you would like me to take videos of uh, and explain things, I will try to do it. I know several people have, have uh, asked some things for me to, to video and but uh, I will try my best at doing that. I'm no expert but I can tell you the way I do it and you can make your own decision as to how you want to do it. So anyways I hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day.